gotta take care of yourself because it doesn't matter how much money you're making, if you smell like ass, you're gonna smell like ass. <laughs> Jeff Joseph back with another video. And in this video, boy, out the country. <laughs> okay, maybe not literally out the country, but it feels like out the country because it's gone way, way, way to a place I've never been before. So, more on that in a second. But before I get into that, today's lesson is gonna be a lesson in hygiene. Don't have any more clothes? So I had to go ahead Make a trip to the laundry, man. That's right, you see it. The boys get fresh. It's been a while um, since I've been home, so had to stop to the laundry, man. Get some clean clothes, cause I'm just about out. I got one pair of clean underwear left. So, uh, <laughs> might have been TMI, but whatever. So I'm at the laundry, man, and I just want to say, remember to take care of yourself, guys gotta take care of yourself because it doesn't matter how much money you're making if you smell like ass you're gonna smell like ass <laughs> but i'll tell y'all more about the load as soon as i get situated see y'all in a minute y'all so it's 2 a.m time to roll i'm out here getting with some diesel fuel um i just uh i already started to drive i'm about, about an hour in um i just had to fill up and uh, it's about 2 a.m i got one hour down so only a million more to go so i'm gonna go ahead and uh finish taking care of this and i'll see y'all on the road y'all so check this out i made it to denver colorado um actually i just realized i never told y'all where i was going <laughs> this load this load came from graham texas and is going to kent washington and um it's a high paying load but uh definitely over two dollars a mile but i'm not gonna go ahead and tell y'all the exact number because i'm entitled to some level of privacy right like people have said in the comments below that i talk about the gross numbers these channels talk about the gross numbers uh, but they never tell you the actual uh, net profits or whatever. Y'all go ahead and comment below and let me know how much y'all making after taxes for y'all jobs. Go ahead, I'll wait. Let me know how much money y'all make after taxes. How much y'all make per per hour or whatever your situation is. Put it in the comments. Let me know exactly how much you making. I'll wait. I didn't think so because y'all entitled to y'all privacy and the people who do do it that's your prerogative but for me i'm entitled to some level of privacy so all these loads i'm not gonna always give you the numbers i'm not gonna always tell you everything you just gotta think it's gas money right you use your mind to think about the expenses so yeah i mean and the only other thing i just want to add that this channel is for entertainment this is an entertainment purposes i'm not teaching y'all how to do anything you might be able to pick up some gems along the way but the idea is not for me to 
teach you how to do this. Like you could learn, obviously, because I'm sharing my experience, but it's just my experience. It's just what is happening to me and how I'm handling the situations at hand and with the loads that I'm taking and how it's working. I'm not trying to teach y'all anything. I'm just entertaining. If you don't like the entertainment that I'm providing, then <laughs> But if you want to learn how to do this, I have no problem with helping people. Um, if I'm able to help you in any type of way, give you some information or knowledge in any type of way that might help you, I'm willing to do that when I have time. I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna respond to your DMs or comments all the time, but I'm willing to help people as I can. If you want to learn how to do this, I suggest you do your own research or you find a channel that is a teaching channel. This channel is entertainment. What? <laughs> I am um, finished driving for today. Uh, I got 11 more hours tomorrow, and then tomorrow is Saturday, and then Sunday should be um, nothing major. So, yep, I'm finished for the day. I'm about to go ahead and just check in with my people and then get some rest. I already ate, I already showered, I already did everything. Only thing I didn't do is work out, which I could work out, but I already showered. So. Uh, I'll just make sure I get that in tomorrow. But, yeah. That's all I got for y'all for now. And I'll see y'all when I get back on the road. Right, y'all so check this out i made it to idaho i'm in twin falls idaho um, i'm done driving for the day uh, i drove for 11 hours uh, my max for today and i got about eight and a half nine hours left to my destination so i'll be there tomorrow um but i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because y'all already know y'all already know what it's like to get unloaded it's just 12 pallets so um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video right here so that I could uh, get the video edited and uploaded and have it to y'all this week. Uh, but before I do, I wanna leave y'all with this right, real quick, how important it is to have goals and execute your goals, right? Like most people don't even really have goals. Like they have this big picture idea of what they say they want, but they don't really have any action items. They don't really have nothing that they can execute to get to that lofty dream that they have and a lot of times what I find is people don't even really know what they want they let all these external factors social media other people in their families or uh, people that they see on TV or whatever the case may be they let all these other people decide what they want their life to look like they don't really even know what they want but you're different right like <laughs> make sure that you have goals that you write it down if you damn Siri that you write down your goals and um, you don't have to know how you're gonna get what you're gonna get or do what you're gonna do, but you have to have an idea of what you want. Like write it down exactly what you want. Like if you wanna make $5,000 a month, then you need to put that in writing on a piece of paper. I wanna make $5,000 a month. You wanna make $5,000 a day, you put that in writing. And then you need to go meditate on it or something. Like you need to figure out like how you're gonna do it. Just reverse engineer it. Just reverse engineer it. Like take this trucking stuff. You're watching the trucking channel, so I'm assuming you're interested in trucking, right? Like, if your goal is to make, say, $28,000 a month gross, then just divide that by the amount of days that you plan on working, the amount of days that you, you wanna run, and that tell you how much you have to make for that day uh, as a net profit. So, I can't stress to y'all enough how important it is to write your goals down. It's good for um, both your, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Like, you have to actually know what it is you're trying to obtain in order to come up with a plan or a goal. And, and the whole time that you're doing that, your subconscious mind is paying attention. It's always paying attention, it's always recording. So the often you do that, like you should write down your goals every day, even if you wrote it down the day before, the night before, or whatever, get into a practice of writing it down and knowing, like nobody should ever ask you what it is that you want in life and you have to think about it. Nobody should ever ask you what it is you want to make, you got to think about it.
everybody. And that's another thing, like cut up all the distractions. Like that's that's a lot of people's problem. And like, you gotta cut off all the distractions. A lot of times that's the hardest part because you gotta cut the people off that you care about, that you love, that's been there for you. Um, and it's not a, it's not a forever thing. Like you may just have to cut them off for now, right? Like you may have just you might need to distance yourself from them right now and go get successful and come back and get them later or you know not just people but also things vices like you if you smoke a lot maybe you need to cut that out that's a distraction drink smoke whatever cut it out social media cut it out uh whatever it may be whatever it may be cut it out because it's a distraction and it's not gonna help you get to where you want to be but i'm gonna leave y'all with that i'm not gonna keep on preaching to y'all <laughs> um some of the feedback is that y'all like when I, I do the little positive thing at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to work that in in these videos. But I'm about to go ahead and get me a little workout in since I didn't yesterday. Um, I'm gonna do a truck workout today. I got some shit with me. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little, little truck workout. I'm gonna change real quick, take some of these layers off. Actually, not even cold enough out here for all of this. But we do a little back of the truck work. Got some weights right here. Jump ropes, about to get it in because there's a little gym around here. Um, this is my gym right here. About to get it in right quick. And uh, we'll go take a shower and then get ready to get back on that road in the morning. But in the meantime, you know, stay focused and uh, get after your goals. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. And um, just be easy. So, See y'all on the road. Damn, I always do that. <laughs>